The rest of Druid is looking really crazy right now. So many changes are coming in 9.2 to a healer that was already considered a top tier. With many buffs, amazing tier set, and really good double legendary combos, the Druid could be absolutely broken in the new patch. So let's talk about the possibilities. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Matthew here, also by Mazarin, and the rest of Druid is my current main class. I've been really pushing the rest of Druid. And it looks like in 9.2, it's going to continue to be my main class because it looks crazy right now very very broken but if you do enjoy the video make sure to like make sure to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon so you know when i upload thank you and let's get into the video the changes okay so the biggest changes i've seen very similar to the holy priest all healing abilities increased by 10 percent all damage abilities increased by 10 percent i like this a lot <laughs> even though i might be biased because i'm playing the rush of Jew right now but these are crazy changes. The 10% increase on healing is going to be immense, of course. Just increased healing overall. The damage is interesting because that means that's going to really apply to Pharaoh Affinity. And in PvP, specifically, a lot of druids, especially top tiers, run Pharaoh Affinity because the damage is ridiculous. Especially when you pair with Master Shapeshifter. So you, you combine Master Shapeshifter with the increased damage thing, and the Pharaoh Affinity Rusher Druid may be doing a lot of damage. Similar to like similar to maybe dps to some extent there's like also a little bit less but it can be really powerful because they're already feral affinity already does pretty decent damage his other really big change is that life bloom healing over time got increased by 12 percent and the bloom healing got increased by 20 percent this is really strong when you factor in in pvp a lot of druids are running focused growth which pretty much increases the heal of life from the 24 percent you factor this 12 percent that's 36 percent plus you factor in the 10 percent increased healing on all abilities that's 46 percent increased healing on life loom itself so all these changes about like healing increases stack on each other especially with the druid where it makes it their healing's gonna go up by a crazy amount next is nourish the nurse town was like a casted heal. Druids never take this move. When it got increased, the healing got increased by 15%. So that could potentially lead to some Druids in PvE running. I don't see anyone in PvP running this. Unless he was healing for like 30k. Okay. But maybe in PvE we see this. Because right now in PvE, Druids are just using regrowth instead of this. And running like Scenarian Ward. But we could potentially see a lot of Druids running nurse now just because of this buff. 50% isn't a crazy amount, like, it's not like it's like 100%, but it will do somewhat. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, maybe people run it, maybe they won't. And then Overgrowth, the last support tile. This is good because in PvP, a lot of players are running Overgrowth. The mana cost reduction is nice because it just means Druid's going to have better mana overall. A lot of people don't know, the Druid doesn't have the best mana. The thing that makes the Druid busted is that you can run away, stealth, get off combat, which is 6 seconds, and then drink. Or if you're a Night Owl, Shadow Mail Drink. You can do stuff like that, which makes them a little bit sneaky because the Druid doesn't have to be there to heal. They can just put a bunch of hots on their teammate, run away, and just drink, which is why their mana seems that good. But this this like reduction of the mana cost will be, it'll help a little bit. But they still won't be comparable to like the Monk or the Shaman. Now for the Druid tier set. I've noticed the a lot of the healer tier sets are really, really powerful. And that stays the same with the Druid. For the two set, you have Renewing Bloom. Essentially, when you healing from rejuvenation has a 25% chance to grant renewing bloom, which is like another hot that will heal as well. As well, renewing bloom, this new hot, can also be consumed by swiftmen. This is the part that I really like. That's where synergy between moves, and I love synergy between moves. Right now, swiftmen can only consume rejuvenation, wild growth, and regrowth. Now they're going to consume renewing bloom. So another hot that is also healing as well. It's, this is this this is the crazy part. The Drew got a 10% healing buff. This is going to affect Renewing Bloom as well. And also their mastery, the more hots they have on a target, the more healing they do overall. So all these hots stacking, I'm telling you, the Druid's healing will be absolutely ridiculous. Now for the force set, you got Empirico Incarnation. Every three casts of Swiftman, it gives you Incarnation Tree of Life. Swiftman is a 15 second cooldown. So if you're, let's say you're using Swiftman off cooldown, every 45 seconds, you're going to get Incarnation Tree of Life. This is a massive three minute cooldown you have to talent. You're going to get it for nine seconds. Your healing's going to be dumb, like dumb. 
True life is one of the most broken cooldowns. The reason why no one takes it in PvP is that it's just a long ass cooldown. PvE people do take it though. What Tree of Life does is that one base healing just increased by 50%. Plus that 10% buff already, 25%. It makes rejuvenation healing increase by 50%. Another healing buff. Regrowth for instant cast. Boom, boom, boom. Big ass regrowths. Entangling roots is instant cast. Insta cast roots in PvP is busted, absolutely broken. And then wild growth, he hits two additional targets, which is going to be really good for PvE as well. The druid is going to be so ridiculous in 9.2. I'm excited because I'm going to be maining this class. I'm just, they might nerf it though. And depending how well it does, we may see a nerf, but like, I'm going to enjoy it while it's here. Um, for double legendaries, for PvE, for raiding, we're probably going to see a lot of druids run Celestial Spirits with Vision and Dying Growth. That combo is absolutely disgusting. The amount of rejuvenations you're going to be able to get out, especially if the set bonus and how rejuvenation can proc another hot, it's going to be broken. The druids are going to be insane in PvE. For Mythic Plus, most likely similar to PvP, we're going to see like Necrolord Druid. We're going to see Umbrella with Swarm and Verdant Infusion. That's like the go-to for like smaller type situations for druids. Unbridled Swarm overall to talk, let's talk about it, is not bad, but it's like for it's not crazy for PvP, I would say. Yeah, your Ozapta Swarm has a chance to split. And yeah, it's just it's overall increased healing. It is it can be strong when it starts to roll. Unbridled Swarm, the Necrolord Legendary is probably what most we're gonna run for Mythic Plus and also PvP. In combination with Verdant Infusion, that combo will be nice. Umbrella Swarm is really powerful, especially when you get the Adaptive Swarm out on all your teammates. Arena, it's gonna be nice. Everyone's gonna be buffed, increased healing overall. Mythic Plus, you get all you get Umbrella Swarm on everyone. That's gonna be a plus. And then you have Verdant Infusion, which just makes your Swift Man instead the duration of your hots by like 10 seconds. It also it doesn't consume a hot anymore. Very powerful as well. So I do like that. But of PV raiding druids are gonna win massively. PvP, it's a it's like a it's a it's a it's a nice buff, but it's not absolutely insane. Now the ending question: should you play the rest of Druid in 9.2 or is the rest of Druid gonna be good or bad? The answer is the Druid's going to be amazing. The Druid's going to be absolutely broke. In my opinion, looking at all these changes, looking at everything, the Druid will be one of the best healers in both PvE and PvP content, in my absolute opinion. They were already extremely powerful, but now then you factor in all these buffs, healing buffs, all these talent buffs, these double legendary combinations, the tier set, it's going to be busted. Of all the healers I've covered so far, the Druid looks and the Holy Priest look like they're going to be like really up there. So yes, if you're, and I would say that if you're already playing the Druid, continue to play the rest of Druid. It's going to be broken in my opinion. And if you're looking to play like a healer and someone who's really good, hop on the Druid. Yo, yo, enjoy the Druid very much. They're going to be absolutely broken in my opinion. But I'm curious, what do you guys think? Based on everything I talked about, the changes, double edged rays, and tier shit, do you think the Druid will be good or bad going into 9.2? Let me know. As of me making this video, it's coming up tomorrow for me. So I'm definitely going to be streaming that as well. But that's the end of the video. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Also turn on the bell icon so you know when I upload. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.